distractions. We are at the brand new, as of just a week ago, yeah. Acquia headquarters in Boston. And I'm sitting with someone who's running a really interesting and I think important program at Acquia. It's called Acquia U, and it's uh, part of how Acquia is trying to, I think it would be fair to say, uh, scratch its own itch in terms of hiring and developing Drupal talent. Exactly. Could you please introduce yourself and tell sure. us one thing about you? I'm Amy Parker. I am the director of Acquia University and the most random thing that you might know about me is that I ate bat while I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Central Africa. Wow. So you can go from being a Peace Corps volunteer to working in Acquia with the right There is a jobs. career path there. There is a career path. Wait, but what was that other thing you told me about Wait, your... the first thing I ever ate when I was out at my post was a very ceremonious presentation of a, of a river bat in soup. Wow, where was that? In uh, Zaire, which is now the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Whew. What was that other crazy story you told me from about, about fish? Oh, I taught people how to raise fish in inland fish farms. So we would dig big fish ponds with a, a shovel and a half-cut 20-liter jug and haul it out and the whole purpose was to teach people fisheries as a sustainable food product. So another career path that somehow you know I learned leads to the internet. I learned all of my analytical skills and problem solving skills by doing that because I was considered the expert. Uh -huh. I had to go out and talk to people about how to raise fish. Wow. And I had no training in that. So that's why I love Aquia U. They took me from being a Spanish major to putting me in, in, in an experiential program in South Carolina for eight weeks, taught me everything I needed to know, not by books, but by hands-on and experiential adult learning, to being an expert of sorts in a very microcosm way in, in terms and, of aquia, and out I in, mean, aqua, uh, aqua, aquaculture. Aquaculture. There's the connection. And out in the field really doing yes. it. Yes. Aquaculture and aquia. It was destined to be. There we go. Yeah? Right? Yes. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. Yeah. All right, so TLDR, what is Acquia U? Aquia U is a 14-week hands-on intensive technical boot camp to take people who have a strong interest in web technology and bring them into the world of Drupal. At the output, depending upon their skills coming in, they're prepared to become people who can build websites using Drupal and integrate it into a larger digital platform and a digital strategy. Drupalists. Entry-level Drupalists. Entry-level Drupalists. Describe Drupal's position on today's web. On today's web. I think it's a really important position, but highly unknown when you're looking at people entering into the career market in web technologies. It is critical in terms of the scalability and customization. The problem that we find from a career pathing and an education perspective is it's not taught in a lot of high schools. It's not taught in a lot of uh, I went out to four different universities in the area and talked to computer science majors, both undergrad and grad, and my simple question was, hey, ever heard of Drupal? Nope, never heard of it. Is it a part of the curriculum? No. And of those people who are doing those curriculum paths, I know a professor in our local college wanted to actually shadow Acquia U so that he could learn how to better integrate it into his curriculum. So essentially, there are three gaps that this is trying to address, and on the one hand, some sort of knowledge gap about yep. Drupal's existence, yep. which feels funny because inside the beautiful Drupal echo chamber, right, we, earrings, we run one in 40 sites on the internet and, and lots of really big name, interesting uh, sites across education and business and electrical vehicles and I don't even know, but we're not such a big deal from other perspectives, Correct. right? And right. then the second point is, we as Drupal service providers have trouble hiring Drupal talent. Mm -hmm. 
And because we do, there are great career opportunities in Drupal today. Right, right. So you're connecting people um, of all ages and backgrounds, actually, with this opportunity. Yep. How did the program come about? It came about in 2001, just strictly as that need came about, where the teams couldn't hire people fast enough. At that point, Acquia was growing. It was still a startup, so, and it was also relatively unknown, meaning if you think about the history of Drupal, it didn't have a long longevity prior to that in terms of being an enterprise platform. So it came about out of the goodwill of the people that were here. There were people who were strong advocates about growing talent. And so in 2011, 2012, the program got launched. It was an internal initiative and uh, it was taught by other Aquians and it was very successful. They had nine people in the program, eight completed the program. Uh, eight were hired here at Acquia. Uh, and I think that six, on, six, six or, or seven, seven are still here, are right? still here in leadership positions. And so of the people that, that left, they stayed at least a year and went on to other types of web technologies. And I, I don't consider that a, a loss because those are Drupal evangelists out in other technology fields. Right, plus in, they're also company evangelists. Correct. I mean, they, they, they have a, a great experience coming out of Acquia. And, and Acquia is another way that we can help the, the Drupal professional community. Correct, yeah. Spread the word. So the and the, the current shape of the program has expanded. We're not just providing talent for ourselves at this point. We have an ambition to provide uh, Drupalists to our friends and colleagues in the industry. Absolutely, because there's no way that we can't not give back talent into the organization. Acquia is struggling to hire. All different Drupal types of companies are struggling to hire. There's a job aggregator called Indeed.com. Any given day, you can do a search and find about 3,000 jobs just in the U.S. that have some relationship to Drupal, all different levels. But if you think about it, the, the very senior level, high, highly skilled Drupalists are, are already employed, and there isn't a succession plan. There isn't a talent pipeline. So this program is really not just about Aqua's ability to hire internally. It's about partnering with our community, uh, with nonprofits. We've recently helped STEM Fuse, which is a STEM curriculum put Drupal into the curriculum for high school students, partnering with other nonprofits and other other community members to be able to offer an opportunity to ramp up their teams through looking forward, looking ahead. At so this talent. is a this is a global 360 That's approach to, to, to talent yes. pipeline in, in its ideal. That is in my long term long term is relative in, in this fast paced world. So in the next year a year and a half to two years, I would like to see this program filling the void of junior level talent in a lot of different spaces, whether it's in a nonprofit, whether it's at a partner company, whether it's in a client company, whether it's at another digital Drupal shop. How do you recruit and select candidates? Interestingly, most of our recruitment is word of mouth and social media. So in the last group that's coming in, starting in June, I asked them, how did you find out about Acquia? How did you find out about Acquia U? I had posted it onto lots of different mechanisms, Twitter, LinkedIn. This time we had one person who was in the program that just finished refer a candidate in. And so from that recruiting mechanism, it's not traditionally standing at a career fair, although I've done that. It's really going, for me, it's about finding people who might not otherwise get a job here because we're, they might have been good but not good enough. So I look in other places. I don't go to the traditional meetups, although we were successful there, because if I think about it, somebody who's looking for a position at Acquia U may not know how to navigate a Drupal career path. So I go to places that they may not have looked before. Uh, different meetups like PHP meetups no, have gone to other events that are happening in the technology space. So Stan, I've gone to different career fairs for college students but I also think it's important to look other places. There are really highly skilled people that go to different sorts of meetups that go to a lot of different events around the around. I went to the the Mass TLC Unconference. It was a massive uh, collection of really innovative, creative people. They had nothing to do with Drupal, and I met people who referred friends over. So I think going to the places where you might not think to traditionally find Drupalists is the place to go to find new Drupalists. 
that makes perfect sense. And I also look at it from the perspective of finding people. Um, I also have a really strong interest in recruiting people, as does Acquia, an underserved population, so women in technology. I'm really, really like psyched that one of our candidates, or one of the people that are, she's coming in the next program, heard about this program at a story slam. So that was really cool. We've got some reach then, apparently. We've got some reach, but you know, it was, it was another Aquian that went to the story slam, and it was a women's story slam. And, and that's where we found this new person coming into the program, who we would have never found. That person would have never even heard of Acquia because she's from a different platform. Her skills and background are in a different different technology. And so, you know, we look. I look in different places. I'm I'm trying to work more closely with organizations that recruit and hire veterans, and just different people, different age groups. I'm not looking for all right out of college, which is why I don't go to only career fairs. My vision of the ideal candidate is has nothing to do with age or background, although they do have to have some technical chops. But really, it's foundational. The foundation of being really successful here is potential. And I define potential on what's motivating them. And it's not just self-motivation. Drupal, open source, it's about the community. So I can be motivated by money. That's OK. But if I'm motivated also by giving to the community or participating in something larger than myself, that's awesome. Curiosity. One of my favorite questions, not to give it away if you're looking for an interview, but what's the last creative thing that you did? What's the last thing that you did that was really interesting? And I really don't care if it means that you, ta you tell me the story about building a table, but that you were afraid of power tools. You had that curiosity. You went out and learned the plans. We look for people in that respect that are are really motivated by their sense of integrity and, get, and wanting to learn. So potential is not just like, oh, he's got the potential. I've actually gone through and quantified and qualified what that actually means to us. And if, you know, I think that through a, a good conversation versus an interview, you can really get at it. What do candidates want to get out of doing the Acquia U program? I think for the most part, people want a different career. They want to participate in something that's more. So a good candidate, let me differentiate that, because there are people that just apply because they they see it online as an opportunity. I think the people that really are successful and come through the program and then cut through the, we had over 100 applicants for the last two programs for 10, for 10 spots. The people that cut through the noise are the people that really demonstrate a strong interest in something innovative, creative, fast-paced. So they're looking for not just a job, because we do connect them to different opportunities, whether it's here or elsewhere. It's a different career path. And so the team, that the people that are coming in, that sorry, the people that finished the last program, some of them were not Drupalists at all, but exploring different paths. So we had somebody that came in who was an industrial designer. and. That was great for that person, but he saw Acquia, he got very intrigued by it. He thought it was a really interesting career company, and then he started looking at it from a career path, and that was really, to him, uh, the next generation of his demonstration of his own curiosity. Like, he had mastered the art of being an industrial designer, so what's next? Mm. What, you know, I don't know what he's going to do next. We might hear from him later. <laughs> So what does Acquia U produce in the end? It produces a bunch of really awesome people. No, start over. <laughs> I wasn't ready for well, that. Well, I think it does. It does. Awesome. We produce people who can jump start their jump. Uh, we produce people who can jump right into a career in Drupal. There is definitively a learning path once they finish the program. They are not full stack developers. But they are people really who have a very strong fundamental understanding of, of of Drupal and not just Drupal we also have a tracking we also have a, a, a curriculum track that looks at at working in a technology environment so we teach them agile we teach them tools like Jira and how to tro troubleshoot tickets they come out of the program the really good understanding of professional work relationships we have a professional development track where we teach presentation skills and mm. team building so it's Although it is Drupal-focused, 
I feel like in order to be successful and what we get out of it is a person that's pretty well-rounded. The curriculum is 360 degrees. It's not just about Drupal. We do a team assessment of work style preferences using DISC and that builds out team camaraderie. We teach Agile so they work on these programs. They work on projects where they're able to participate fully as a, as a sprint participant. We so. The, you know, they're not, they're not just Drupalists, they're, they're scrum masters, they're team leads, they are ticket resolvers, they're everything that you would want in a fully... Right, and they're real devs who know real dev tools and Absolutely. version control and the command line Git and, and, Git and, Git, and GitHub right. and, and... All the buzzwords, but the stuff that but you they actually to can produce... Do, they can go beyond spelling PHP. <laughs> ba -doom. Run us through the program. The program will differ depending upon the candidates that are coming out, and that is the unique part about this this opportunity. Because a big focus is really matching people up with job opportunities at the end, the real creative part that I get to do is I don't get to just wash, rinse, and repeat Aquia U. The program is tailored and customized to the people that will be in the program because of the jobs that are available at the end. So the typical program has a very strong focus in Drupal. They'll go through, some people need a what is Drupal. We'll go all the way through site building, theming, module development, custom module development, how to work within the Drupal organization. They get paired up with a mentor in the organization within Acquia and also outside if they are participating in the local Drupal meetups. The curriculum is also really strongly focused around uh, troubleshooting, so we have our support team come in and do ticket evaluation and troubleshooting. A lot of people don't know. They get a ticket, ops people get tickets, Drupalists get tickets. They have to figure out what the issue is and, and resolve that problem. So that's a big component. We're not just thinking about it from that singular becoming a site builder, but also as a really good, highly contributing member of the team. So the curriculum will flex in our next iteration. It starts in June. We are hiring on our engineering and product teams. So all of the products that Acquia produces, like those all sit on top of a Drupal site. So software engineers that are building programs for Drupal sites have to have a foundation. But guess what? They also have to know about Amazon Web Services and cloud and cloud hosting. So we're adding in that component to be able to fully round those folks out to work in our DevOps team. So those folks are going to be tracking through this next time, this next class, so our curriculum has to, has to be reflective of that. But at the core, it's all about Drupal because that's what our business is all about and that's the core goal is to bring more people into the Drupal career path. It's very cool and it's very highly specific to, to the people coming in. So how long is the course and how's it broken down? Right now it's six weeks of in class and I say in class because it isn't six hours or it's not six weeks of somebody yammering on at you. You're not sitting watching videos for six weeks. It's a blend of lecture and one-on-one -on -one mentoring. We have this upcoming session we will have two instructors for the program. We actually rely a lot on the knowledge that other people bring in to co-teach. So in our next session we have somebody that was a PHP developer. So he's gonna he's agreed up front to do some PHP coaching. So the program content focuses on the Drupal curriculum, but half the day, give or take, it's very flexible. Half the day is a technical part of content and then the other half is lab time. So we give people homework assignments and projects the last group as a team project built the u.acrea.com website. Mm. They brought that from concept and worked through our professional engagement process, our professional services engagement um, process to do user stories and wireframes. They work with the UX team. That project is finished. So now the curriculum and the hands-on activity is, guess what? They're gonna go have to fix all of the bugs that the first group left in the platform which is another skill that needs to be done, which is that um, performance and vulnerability testing. So the, co the curriculum constantly evolves, and I think it evolves against what's happening in the market as well, and also what uh, we're looking at for Drupal 8. So guess what? These guys are gonna be our first group that's gonna be going through somewhat of a long-form curriculum on Drupal 8. 
the core of this program is Drupal 7, but we're going to be in interjecting Drupal 8 content in there in a way that hasn't been done yet, I think, because when we look at how people are learning Drupal and Drupal 8, it's in bits and pieces. It's an hour class, it's a two-day class. This is what is different. It's a long-form program. It's eight, it's six weeks of classroom-based training, all Drupal all the time, and then there's eight weeks of, of rotations. So we divide the eight weeks into two sessions, and they do four weeks in one team and four weeks in another. And they're not going and getting coffee. They are, they are learning how to do that job they're working side by side with a site supervisor or a cloud engineer or a professional services front end developer and eventually pulling tickets, doing bug review, doing code review, doing real work. So I think about one of the people that went through the last program. Um, he actually designed a banner, a mobile banner that sat on a customer website and committed that code to the code base. That's pretty awesome. That's not a typical internship. And that's why I look at it as being a really different experience and why it's so unique. It's not just a straight tech boot camp where you go in and learn. It's not just an internship where they kind of shuffle you through. That's not to say that internships are bad, but it's a one view perspective. This is a 360 degree way that somebody can really, I, I mean it when I say it's a jumpstart to their career. It's not just a single fashion, a single view. Time out, time out. Sorry. You said they can't get coffee? <laughs> that sounds like a torture I to, to me. I want them to learn. Their job when they come in is to learn. They actually come in and their job is to learn. And so guess who's the one that's going to get them coffee? This one. Sign me up. <laughs> well, the other part of it too is that this is, you know, it sounds like I torture them and I do because it's hard. This is a lot of hard work, but we also have a hell of a lot of fun. If it weren't fun, we have a social budget. We match them up with mentors in the, and we give them liberties to go take their mentor or their mentee out for the night. We have a, last time we took them through this uh, escape the room in downtown Boston where they had to go into a dark room and, wow, you know, I chalked that up to professional development, problem solving, but you know. We, escape the room is just like debugging code. It is. In the end. You're blindfolded <laughs> and you have no idea where you're gonna end up and who might touch you along the way. What is one piece of advice you give people looking for a new career now? I think you have to be really courageous. You really, really have to just jump in and try it because I find myself, we talked about this earlier, I was a Peace Corps volunteer. I came from a nonprofit background. Uh, my first corporate job I got at EMC and they called me and they said, you got the job. And I called my, they said, you're going to be a course developer for our Unix team. And I called my friend and I said, they offered me the job. And he's like, they did. <laughs> and I said, yeah. He said, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to develop courseware for field engineers for Unix products. He's like, I'm like, what's Unix? And the thing was, you that's the that's why I like this program so much. I had transferable skills and I had the guts to just jump in and do it. And I think on the flip side, I think what I offer to the program is I remember where I came from and being able to recognize that potential in somebody and those transferable skills and the ability to learn and apply it, that's that's different than what you see in some of the other programs. And to me, when I think about being courageous, it's being able to jump in and just not worry about it. And I say that because guess what? We've had people who have moved across the country without the promise of a full-time job at the end, and they've done it. Mm. In fact, last session we had two people, one from Oregon, one from Florida. This session we have actually four people who are moving. They're closing up their homes to in far, far away lands like Western Mass, <laughs> coming to Boston. <laughs> Look into the camera. Courage. Look into the camera and give us a shameless plug for Aquia U. Aquia U, jump in and own it, kickstart your career. Sign up at u.aquia.com. That's how you do a shameless plug. <laughs>